Number 80, find the molarity of a 40.0% biomass aqueous solution of sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4, uh, for which the density is 1.3057 grams per milliliter. Okay, so the question is, we need to find the molarity. So let's start there, right? What is the formula for molarity? Well, molarity equals something over something, but I'm going to be a little bit more specific, right? Usually we just say like moles over liters, but moles of what? Liters of what? It's moles of solute divided by the liters of solution. Now, just know guys, right? When I was learning this stuff out with solute and solution, I was all over the place because, you know, so many S's, right? Like what's a solute, what's a solution? There's also a solvent. So just know that a solution is the total mixture, we'll say, right? A solution contains the parts of the solute plus the solvent. Now I also came up with the thing, I don't know if I was the first one to think of this, but I, I distinctly remember seeing it for myself that if I just count these letters, Solute has six letters, solvent has seven, and solution has eight. They go in order of their numbers. The solute is the lowest or the, the smallest thing. The solute gets put into the solvent and together they make the solution. So six letters, seven letters, and then combined you have the whole total solution of eight letters. Now, for this case, right, we have an aqueous solution. Aqueous means that your solvent was water and majority of the time your solvent is going to be water. What was placed into the water? Oh, it was the sulfuric acid. And then the solution is that mixture of the sulfuric acid coming in contact with the water. So that's how this all kind of plays out. But we say to ourselves, okay, if we want to find out the molarity, right? We got to find the moles of the little guy, right? The H2SO4 and divide it by how many liters of the total solution we have. But none of that was said. They literally gave us just a percent mass and they gave us a density. So I'm kind of stuck at this point right here, but let's move on to the next one, right? Let's talk about percent mass. Now percents by themselves are just part over whole. And we kind of were talking about a part and a whole. The total is the solution and the part can either be the solute or the solvent. Now, in general, with percent by masses, they're going to give it to you in terms of solute. So the formula for percent by mass is this formula, which I'll put over here. A percent by mass is the part divided by the whole. We already stated that the solution is the whole, so that's why the solution's on the bottom, and the solute is on the top. Now, since it's a percent by mass, we have to have both masses for the solute and the solution. And the mass here is in grams. We could use kilograms, but grams is easier because I'm looking at the density units and I do see a gram value. So we'll keep it in grams. But notice this, guys. I have solute divided by solution. And then if I look back at my molarity, I also have solute divided by solution. Oh, so maybe these two formulas are related. So let's see. They gave me a percent, right? So I know this number, this is standard, but they didn't give me any of these numbers, but maybe I could figure them out. Let's see, I got 40.0 equals something over something times 100. Now let's entertain this, this little thing here, right? Maybe I could put numbers in the top and the bottom so that this whole side equals 40. Well, let's start with the 100. I technically don't want the 100. I just want it to be equal to 40. So remember, if this is in the numerator, right, if I just put this over one, technically I would need a 100 in the denominator to cancel the 100 out. Oh, and if I do that, what's the number that's gonna be here? 
to make it equal to 40. Yeah, you guessed it. It's literally 40. And now if we do that, we have all of the numbers. I now know that I have 40 grams for the solute and 100 grams for the solvent. Ooh, sorry, not solvent, solution, 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 solution. So let's just write that out. I'm just gonna pull this up a little bit, just so I have a little bit more room. And I'm gonna say, okay, solute, I have 40.0 grams, and we said that the solute was H2SO4. Okay. Now, is that good enough? Well, in the molarity formula, I need it to be moles of the solute. So I have grams right now, so I just have to convert that into moles. And now, for the solution, we're going to start off with 100 grams, and I need the liters of the solution. So I have to convert grams into liters. Does not matter which one you do. Uh, let's just work with the solute first, right? We've been doing tons of conversions in which we have grams of one compound and we go to moles of the same compound. That's using the periodic table, right? So we start with what we're given. We're going to use a ratio just so that we get more practice with it. You're going to multiply by the ratio. The unit that you don't want goes on the opposite side. So grams of H2O, grams of H2SO4 goes on the bottom. And then the unit that you want goes on the top. We want the moles so that we can put them into the numerator. If you're using the periodic table, remember you have one mole, right? So wherever the word mole is, you put one, and then the mass on the periodic table goes where the grams are. So calc deeds out, periodic table's out. We gotta find the mass of what H2SO4 is. You got two hydrogens, one sulfur, and four oxygens. So let's go. Let's see, I got two hydrogens. I'm gonna add that to one sulfur, which is like 32. And then I'm gonna add that to four oxygens. Each oxygen is 16. So I get roughly, well, exactly 98.076. And these cancel. The units cancel, the numbers don't cancel, so all you have to do is just 40 divided by that 98. And I'm gonna get 0 0.4078, and that's moles of the H2SO4, and that was the solute. So right up top here, my number on the top is now 0 0.4078 moles. Okay, halfway there. Now we just got to find the liters. We have grams and we got to convert it into liters. Hmm, how do I do that? A mass into a volume? Oh, that's why they gave me the density, right? We can use the density to go from a mass to a volume. Now, usually you have density equals mass over volume, right? And we have the density, we have the mass, we're trying to solve for the volume, so you can do it this way. I'm just gonna rearrange this formula just for simplicity's sake. My volume equals the mass divided by the density. So let's see. My volume equals my mass, which was 100 grams for the solution, and divide that by the density, which they told me, 1.3057. Okie dokie. I'm going to just do that quick division and see what I get. 100 divided by 1.3057. I get 76.587. Now, the question is, what is the unit of this, right? Is it liters? Always go back to the density units. I put in a gram value right? To get out a milliliter, right? So technically this is in milliliters. Oh boy. But how do I go from milliliters to liters? I got to convert to liters, right? Because the molarity formula says liters. Oh, I just got to divide by 1000. So I take this number and I just 
divided by 1,000. So my new volume would be 0 0.076587. And now that's in liters. That's the number that goes on the bottom here. So 0 0.0767. Eight seven liters. And would you look at that? Now we have both the numerator and the denominator. So let's do the division. 0 0.4078 divided by 0 0.076587. And now I'm looking back at the question. I see that this percent mass had three sig figs in it, so my answer should have three. So 5.32. Pretty concentrated. Five as a molarity is, is pretty concentrated. So here is the molarity of the solution. That's it, guys. What did you think? Hopefully, uh, let me know if this helped you out. Click the subscribe button. Click the like button. But if not, that's OK, too. Maybe we'll get you next lesson. Um, I think this concludes chapter three. So we've done tons of problems. If you guys are on the playlist, and if you want to go back, we do grams to mole conversions. We do finding a molar mass. Um, what else? We do molarity, concentration. And next chapter is all about balancing equations and the actual stoichiometry. So fun stuff, all right? So I'll see you guys then, and I hope you have a great day, okay? Keep studying hard. I believe in you guys. See you then. Bye.